Hey everybody, Hoosier Jedi here, and I just wanted to make a quick video talking about uh, a unique experience I had here in Japan today. And that is when I went to the uh, Harry Potter Cafe in Fukuoka. Uh, now there are other uh, Harry Potter cafes around the world, but these are this is one of two, two really official ones. These are the two only official Harry Potter cafes in the entire world. Uh, one is, a, as I said, is in Fukuoka in southern Japan, and the other one, of course, is in Tokyo. And um, I believe the Tokyo one was actually recently visited by the fellow that played Jacob in the Fantastic Beasts movie. So let me tell you about uh, the one here, the one that I visited in Fukuoka. I, I don't live in Fukuoka. I live in a nearby city called Kumamoto, and I uh, specifically went to the cafe uh, today to check it out to see what it was like. Um, so first things first, it's located in a place called Canal City, which is a famous mall in Kumamoto. Uh, it's a big uh, place where they have all kinds of, um, all kinds of really ev like events there. It's, uh, I mean, it is at the end of the day, it's a mall, but it's a really popular place for people to go. They have uh, lots of uh, other um, fan properties, uh, do a lot of deals there. Uh, currently, they actually have like a deal going on with both Godzilla and the anime and manga series One Piece, um, just to kind of give you an idea of what sort of place this is. Uh, anyway, uh, now this is a, this is a temporary place, uh, as I understand it. Uh, it's not going to be there forever, and I, I recognize the place where they had this, and it was um, previously used as a um, children's encounter center it's sort of like where children can go and uh they sort of like play doing goofy science experiments and things like that um it's a, a thing called team lab who do stuff like that here in japan it's actually kind of cool uh but it's located where their uh, place was um <laughs> like part of it was still off to the side uh so it's sort of weird it's sort of like well, wait a minute i don't think there was a kitchen here before uh, but anyways as you come up to this place uh outside um there's a little uh, glass booth with a bunch of Harry Potter merch inside, a bunch of wands, a uh, replica of like a, a broom from the movies, and of course there's some uh, robe on a stand right by the door. And um, as you go in, the first thing I noticed is it was ungodly hot in there. And now, to be fair, this was a really bizarre day here in Japan. It was um, like around 20 degrees Celsius, I think, or something like that. Uh, when I checked, now I'm American, right? So, as you, so when I checked my phone while I was walking around Fukuoka today, it was 78 degrees. It's December. Now, granted, this is southern Japan. We don't really do snow around here. But I have never in my life experienced heat like that in December, okay? I'm from the Great Lakes, man. I'm used to the jet stream and the lake effect. And winter is not fun. Winter is pretty brutal where I was born and raised. And I made the mistake of not checking the weather before I went out this morning, and I was walking around town in my winter jacket. And, ugh. But no, I walked in there and I was like, oh my god, why is the heat on, especially on a day like this? And there was this weird smell, like you know the smell that like a heater has when it hasn't been turned on for like six months? And it always takes a while for all that dust and god only knows what to more or less burn up. Well, the outer area of the cafe, which is this gift shop, uh, really, really reeked like that. And again, it was ungodly hot in there. I happen to know the guy working the cash register was wearing a short sleeve shirt, and I'm like, yeah, good call, buddy. You'd have been sweating yourself to death if you uh, hadn't been wearing that. So um, out in this area, they have this like fiberglass statue of Newt that looks pretty cool. And there's like a little niffler with some uh, shiny stuff at the bottom. Uh, so that was really cool. Uh, the really awesome thing is they have um, this, I guess, scroll. 
signed by uh, the members of Dumbledore's army. And it's all, and there's only two of these in the entire world, just like the cafes. Again, one is in the cafe in Fukuoka, the other is the cafe in Tokyo. And it has all the characters' names signed on the list, and then on the left side, and on the right side, the actors signed their real names. So it was kind of, I mean, it was seriously cool to go there and be able to look at the actual signatures of, you know, Daniel Radcliffe, Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson, and Rupert Grant, and Ivana Lynch. And you know all the other actors who played um, the main the main members of Dumbledore's army in the movies. And of course, there's this uh, merch area outside, where they had lots of stuff. Um, now I am a a big Ravenclaw guy, and I was immensely disappointed. Uh, there was uh, definitely a notable shortage of Ravenclaw goodness there. Now, maybe that's because it got picked over, but there were, or maybe they just uh, unsurprisingly ordered a lot of Gryffindor and Slytherin stuff, although they were definitely not lacking in Hufflepuff stuff. Um, but they had things like uh, you know, t shirts. Uh, there was a really, actually, one of the few, one of the Grimclaw things they did have was a really cool hoodie, but it was like 70 bucks. I'm not spending 70 bucks on a hoodie and a long sleeve t-shirt was 50 50 bucks I'm not spending 50 bucks on a t-shirt um, there was a tote bag too that was I believe 40 I mean this cost, scarf here costs $30 which honestly it's not bad this is a really well-made scarf it's super comfortable I uh, I'm not really a scarf person but uh, I'm well, if it's actually cold here this winter, which I have some doubts uh, about, I might seriously wear this. Uh, of course, I should need to uh, actually learn how to tie a scarf properly. Um, this is a, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, new edition. I got another, I used to have another one of these uh, back when I lived in America. Um, but I left that behind, um, basically, because I knew it's like, I know this area of Japan. It doesn't get that down here. Um, anyway, so they had um, some, they actually had some really amazing stuff like these just absolutely gorgeously made backpacks. They had um, like little pins and stuff with the, the, like with cartoonish versions of the characters. Uh, really cute actually if you're into that kind of thing. Um, they had umbrellas, uh, bags, uh, but the problem was, I mean, it was just, it was expensive. Like a coaster cost eight bucks. So it's like, man. Now, as for the cafe itself, uh, I actually didn't go in and order anything because, um, honestly, the fare was kind of light. Uh, like just a drink there was five hundred yen, which is roughly like a, like a little less than five bucks. Uh, and uh, again, the fare there is like very typical Japanese cafe fare, kind of light. And uh, I wasn't really in the mood for something light. Um, they did have some other plates and sets like pasta and pancakes and things like this. Um, some more expensive stuff that was like $20, $25. But uh, this was lo also located in an area of Canal City. Uh, directly next to a place called the Ramen Stadium, which is basically a big collection of ramen restaurants all in this one area. And I said, like, I'm just looking at the stuff on the menu, I'm like, there's nothing here I really particularly want to eat. Well, literally a couple of, like, literally just a couple of steps away from here, is my favorite ramen restaurant in this entire place, the Hokkaido Ramen Restaurant. I, I, I used to live in the Hokkaido area, and Hokkaido is super cool as far as I'm concerned. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I've already spent 30 bucks at this place just for a scarf. I uh, don't really want to go in there and have to spend like $5 on some, some tea that I don't particularly want. And again, this place is unfathomably hot on an already hot day. I've been sweating 
in my jacket for a while now, so I'm really uncomfortable. And I'm just like, man, I don't want to be in this place anymore. It's too hot. Turn off the heat already. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go and spend my money and on something that I want to eat. So I went over to the Hokkaido Ramen restaurant, uh, tried Yuzu Ramen for the first time, and uh, enjoyed a nice beer with it as well. And if you don't know, yuzus are a kind of Japanese citrus with a very pleasant lemony taste. Um, interesting to have some ramen in that, but um, very recommended. So, um, if you're a Harry Potter fan and you happen to be in Japan, should you check this out? Well, yeah. Again, there's only two of these in the entire world. And you don't have to pay any money to visit the gift shop. Um, bring some money with you, <laughs> bring quite a bit, it, but you can definitely score some really sweet uh, merchandise that you're probably not going to be able to get anywhere else. I mean, uh, outside of maybe like the Harry Potter stuff at Universal Studios. I don't know. I've never been to that, that stuff. Uh, that stuff hadn't been built the last time I went to Universal Studios. Um, but it's really cool. And again, if you're okay with some very light cafe fare, then okay, sure, you can give uh, give the food a try. But uh, I don't know, uh, I think it's in Shinjuku in Tokyo is the one. Uh, I've only I've ever visited Shinjuku very briefly, so I can't really talk about that too much. But in Fukuoka and in Canal City, oh heck yeah, there's way better places to eat, uh, no doubt about it. So yeah, it's definitely kind of a, in my opinion, poke your head in the door, maybe grab some cool goodies, but if you're looking for somewhere to eat, you can definitely do better. But if you want to see some of the cute Harry Potter themed food that they have there, uh, yeah, go for it. Not really my thing, but anyway guys, that's all I have for you this time. Uh, as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and of course you can join me on uh, Twitter at Hoosier Jedi, and also join me on Tumblr at Jedi Reviewer. Until next time, take care and have a good one.